All right. For those of you guys who think that I've uh, taken time off, I haven't. I'm working on the HHO and the red dye, but uh, need a few chemicals, so red dye is on hold until I can track that down. In the meantime, I continued another project I was working on. What we have here is a DC fan motor, fairly common automotive fan motor, old one, um, but it makes it nice to work on. And we have its uh, brushes and commutator right there, brushes over here. The original brushes are the larger ones, it's hard to see, um, right there and there. Now I added some smaller ones there and there. They're adapted from an RC car motor. And what I'm going to do with this arrangement is run the motor and use the secondary set of brushes as pickup brushes to extract the collapsing magnetic field off the armature. The hope is uh, just simply to catch some of the back EMF, pull some of the voltage out, and therefore increase the efficiency of the motor. Obviously you've got a uh, iron core turning inside a permanent magnet, you've got collapsing fields, um, so rather than doing the pulse motor that everybody else is doing, I wanted to use a regular motor and uh, do the same theory, but with a different spin. So hopefully we can pick up at least about 10% of the voltage. i got to wire the uh, electronics package, diodes and whatnot, but that'll be an upcoming video. So right now, I'll show you how it all goes in the inside so I don't have to take it apart again. It's kind of a pain, but that's the inside. The small brushes are set to make contact just after the primary brushes clear the commutator spacing. It's hard to see in this, but there's a coil contact here, 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 and as it rotates, the primary brushes will disengage completely so I don't have any cross voltage from the input over to the small brushes up there so I get a pure pickup. Um, building this thing is going to be kind of like building a ship in the bottle because I have to uh, hold the brushes out, put it on, and then attach the uh, secondary brushes after the fact. It's, it's going to be kind of interesting. So I'll show you how it all goes together after I get it together. Take it easy.